uh, Glenbar coach Mark Hahn. You guys just had a you know three and O day. At yeah. the beginning of the day, you told me if you guys went three and O, you'd come in here and give me an interview. I did. Good news for uh, you is you went three and O. Yeah, you went three and O. Bad news is I know you don't like the spotlight. You come in here for the interview. Yeah. Um, so coach of one of the most storied programs probably in Illinois and and the Midwest. A lot a lot of great accomplishments. You've been to the Clash 13 times of 15 clashes. Right. What keeps you coming back? That. The, the, somehow, always on this trip, we start coming together as a team. We start always some, there's some heroes here, and they come through. You know, guys that you never think are going to get the win, to get the win, big win. They come through, and, and it just, and our team bonds, and it just, some magic, something special happens here. We leave here, we come back as a better team. Yeah, you couldn't you couldn't have said that better. Um, so, uh, you you come in yesterday, you get a top dog beat, right? Austin Gomez gets beat. Yeah. Your team gets knocked up a little bit. You come back in today and have to grind through three tough duels. This tournament is an, is an absolute grind, and and coaches coming in might not understand that. What are some things about this tournament that you just don't understand until you've experienced it? Uh, it's, uh, it's 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 exhausting for. Coaches, I know that for sure. Going through six duels in, in two days, uh, that usually high-level duels, it's exhausting. And uh, but, uh, but you know, and, and and also the comp level of competition. You know, the thing I love about coming up and wrestling Minnesota, like we used to go wrestle you guys in Wisconsin Rapids. You got to finish every move because these guys don't stop wrestling. They wrestle every position, and that's what you come here for. You come here to get better. And that's what you find here. You know, we wrestle. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. There's great wrestling in Illinois. Plenty of competition for us this year especially. But we're just up here. You, you see things a little bit different, a little different, you know, that we don't see down there. And it's just fun. It's just fun wrestling. And, and you know, all the guys are, all the coaches and the kids are, they're just hard-nosed, tough kids and tough coaches. And But they, they get it. You know, there's no, and the refs up here, they let you wrestle. It looks like college on the out of bounds, and that's fine too. Cause we like to see that. We like to wrestle. Yeah, so. and you, there, there's no doubt you could see the excitement. You know, watching from up here, your team is excited. You, you know, every one of those duels is a grind. Go back 15 years, the first clash. Right. You guys come in here and and win the thing, beat Apple Valley. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that moment. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. When we came up here that time, when uh, they were they were courting us to come up here, I was. You know, I wasn't sure, and then, then we talked about dual meets, and I like dual meets, so I thought, okay, we'll come up here. Uh, I wasn't, you know what, you know, I wasn't expecting the level of competition that we got when we got here. You know, I thought, you know, here we're Glenmark North, we were a pretty good team that year. You know, we were probably top three in the state, and we were a great dual meet team, and I thought, yeah, we'll do real well here. And then we saw the level of competition with Apple Valley, Owatonna, Wasatch, Vacaville on that second day. And it was a grind, and, and Apple Valley, you know, I didn't even know that they were, uh, you know, uh, at that time, I think I might have known, maybe they were ranked second in the nation, or and they were 88 win, winning streak, and, you know, we just made a little move in there, and our kids wrestled super tough, and we got a bye at the right time, because that back then, you were in a pool of five, so you wrestled four duels that day, so we got a bye, we had lost to Owatonna that day, and we got a bye, and then Ep Owatonna beat Apple Valley. And then, I'm sorry, it's the other way around. Apple Valley beat Owatonna, and then we beat Apple Valley, so we were the champions. But, I mean, I think getting that bye at the right time, Apple Valley came off a tough one with Owatonna, and we, we got them at the right time. They were so tough. Yeah, so, so one of the great moments in the history of a great program. Uh, you've had a lot of accomplishments over the years, and you've been coaching since 1988, I believe. Head coach since 87, 88, yeah. So you win a state championship. You have 18 consecutive conference uh, yeah. uh, championships going. You win the clash that year. What moment in all those years right now sticks out in your mind as a great moment in Glenbard history? That match right there. That's that's my great moment right now. I'm, you know what? I'm, I, I, you know, I'm, when I get when I retire, when I when I retire, I'm gonna look back and look at all the years. But you know what? I, I kind of like live for the this year. I don't care about next year. And I don't care about the years past. This is what we're doing right now. And I know that sounds like like a story, but that's that's true. That was a, that was a great moment. I'm I'm feeling good about that. Yeah, I could tell that was a great moment. So in that particular duel, then which match was the turning point? When did you feel like, hey, we've got this? Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't feel like we had it until the very last match. But I knew, you know, what we had. They had two two state ranked guys. 
at, at 70 and 82, and we were bumping our 60 and 70 pounder up to wrestle him. And uh, our 60 pounder really came out and wrestled a great match against that guy, and, and our 70 pounder came through. He's very offensive, but he's been in a kind of a cold streak, so he finally came through and uh, and and scored that that fireman's and hung on, and it was great. I, you know, that's when we we realized it. But you know, they were unlikely. They were, those two were unlikely heroes. Those weren't the guys I was counting on to come through, but. It worked out that way. Yeah, it was pretty exciting. So at all those years of coaching, you're, you're probably coaching to make a difference in kids' lives. I mean, you, you, yeah. you're, you've had a big impact on a lot of wrestlers, I'm sure. Is there anyone in those years that stands out that you really feel that the Glenbard North program made a difference in his life? Anyone that jumps uh, out? Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a bunch of them. But, I, you know, and I, I'd love to just, just you know, I, how we got a guy in Georgia who's a, who's a, who's a has a doctorate in biochemical biochemical uh, engineering and he's and he's you know he's got his own company he's developing stuff and he contributes Glenbard North Wrestling to why he's so successful in life you know and that's not my you know I mean that's just one of those stories you know but it's also the guy that comes back we have a Hall of Fame dinner every year comes back and they say they come back and they say how much Glenbard North Wrestling meant to them how much they miss it how much they wish they were still part of it they still feel a part of it and it's pretty it's similar to wisconsin rabbits wrestling in that respect the great program and the, the kids that look back and they they love the program and they and i guess we sometimes tell our kids here that you don't realize what you're part of until you're out of it you know yeah you know, i mean but like i can't put i can't pinpoint anyone yeah yet. yeah that, that makes sense i mean you do it that long you have that many kids i was just curious on on that one you did a gr great great example there so mike palazzo he was on your original team when you became the head coach at Glenbard, yeah. and now he's down here coaching a yeah. Florida team yeah. in the finals, yes. ranked number four in the country with yeah. his team. Uh, how exciting is that to That's, have a guy? Uh, I'm real proud of Mike. Mike's a, Mike's a you know great, great, great kid. He was a great wrestler, but you know he's a he's a much better coach. You know he's I'm real proud of how hard he's worked at it. He does all the right things. You know he's working all the time. He's taking them everywhere. And he sacrifices his time and his money to do that, and that's that's what it takes. It takes a lot of sacrifice, and Mike's doing it. And I'm real proud of him. I'm hoping he's, I'm hoping he wins this darn thing. Yeah, it's got to be exciting for you. So, so one last question: All those years of excellence, how do you maintain that? It's easy to get one team and you know come in with a group of guys and be good. How do you do that year in and year out? Well, no, somebody didn't mention. I got a, I got a tremendous coaching staff and they we've been together for a long time and we always had had some young guys in there but they, we've been together for a long time we were consistent the kids know that we were there for them and you know i i think that goes a long way everybody does their job on our staff you know i'd like to say that it's, it's all about me but it's not i'm kind of just the manager of the whole damn deal and i got we got technicians and we got guys that are computer guys and we got guys that are video and guys that take care of equipment and you know the whole nine yards and that's i think our staff and our and our in our community that that supports glenbard north wrestling yeah so. it's, it's been a lot of fun watching it's been a lot of fun competing against glenbard north <laughs> and also watching you yeah, win and see all the excitement fun. any any idea who you might pass the torch to i, I we you know I'd, I'd like to say say who it would be but it's not it's not my decision so you know whoever it's going to be it's going to they're going to they're going to be well scrutinized and they're going to be the one that's supposed to do it so well they'll have some big shoes to fill ah, yeah well well, congratulations Thanks on a, a great class. Thanks it was uh, excellent to watch. So. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.